Welcome to the Nightly Nuge. Welcome to another edition of the Nightly Nuge, the weekend edition. Uh, how's your weekend going so far, Ted? I got to tell you, I am the master of the weekend. Shemaine and I have a lot of barbecuing on hand. We're having a great, great hunting season. The, the Texas deer season goes all the way to March 1st. The ducks are coming in. Happy Sadie and Coco are very happy. There's some mallards hanging in the cooler right now. So if I was any happier, I'd probably squirt right through this apparatus and you would feel the effervescence of a very happy Uncle Ted. Well, you know, we like to talk about hunting on the weekends, uh, but before we get there, I know there's a lot of uh, your uh, listeners and fans that like to read over the weekend. And I don't know if you saw this, but uh, Hillary Clinton's friend, Huma Abedin, the one that's married to that wiener from New York, uh, Anthony Wiener or whatever he's called, uh, has a new book out. So I'm wondering, will you be reading the Wiener's wife's new book. Boy, those people are really some bad, bad people. I mean, uh, you just gave a list of names of probably some of the worst humans that have ever slithered on the earth. I would rather think that people who really want to read something good would pick up a copy of Uncle Ted and Shemaine's Kill It and Grill It. People have actually said recently, hey, Ted, you got to write a cookbook because you're always talking about venison and backstraps and the best meals, wild game every night. Well, this has been out for what has it been over 20 years now? But uh, it's called Kill It and Grill It because that's what we do. No, I won't be buying or supporting any horrible people's commercial enterprises. In fact, I think it's important right now, Keith, on Nightly News to celebrate that good conservative families in America should support good conservative businesses that stand up and actually benefit those things, those traditional values that we believe in. Number one, they should go to HunterNation.org. If you really want to take America back and get back on the course of God, family, country, law and order, be sure you join me at HunterNation.org. Also, the great warrior for conservative values, Mike Lindell at MyPillow.com. If you type in the code spirit at MyPillow.com, you'll support somebody who stands up for what you believe in. And at my own website, Ted Nugent.com, I this morning. I was in the Nugent sweatshop this morning and I signed a thousand hats. I signed a thousand of these hats. I will not comply. And I signed a thousand of these hats. Come and take it. And we have a new supply of the come and take it flag. So go to Ted Nugent dot com and buy the most impressive gifts available to mankind. So I think it's important that you brought that up, Keith, because there are some institutions and some businesses out there that literally tread on the values that we believe in. And I won't list them here right now. So we need to do a little bit more research. And I'd like to think that the buying power, the commercial uh, 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 power of Americans pocketbooks would send quite a message to some of these businesses. If you support what we believe in, we will support you. If you try to ruin the things we believe in, we won't support you. So I'd like people to do that uh, uh, research. In fact, we got a, a buddy out in Kansas City. Mark Mueller has an a auto dealer called Max Motors. This guy supports the First Amendment, the Second Amendment. My buddy Brian Shootback in Jackson, Michigan, Shootback Sporting Goods. This guy fights for our Second Amendment rights. There's a lot of organizations and mom and pop entrepreneurs out there that literally put their, their business on the line by standing up for God, family, country, constitution, Bill of Rights, Second Amendment, First Amendment, and we should find out what businesses those are. And those are the ones we should support. You know, Ted, I just wrote uh, out my kind of hunting New Year's resolutions. And one of them was that I really want to share a hunting camp in 2022 with you, me, Cuz Strickland, Michael Waddell and Donald Trump Jr. all around one campfire. Now, and for me personally, I'm just thinking about the stories that I'll never be able to repeat. But I'm uh, just wondering, do you have any hunting resolutions for 2022? Well, you know, I, I resolved uh, many, many years ago that I would hunt more. But since I hunt every day, I don't know. I don't know how I could possibly hunt anymore. I literally, Keith, I literally hunt every day. I hunt fish and tr or trap. Every day I live right on wildlife paradise here in Texas and in Michigan. We have swamps and marshes and fens and forests and, and, and rivers and lakes. 
And I manage my ground for optimal biodiversity, where we have all the indigenous species of flora and fauna and wildlife. And the hunting is spectacular. I'm very selective because I get to hunt every day, but we have to balance the deer herd. The turkey season comes up. We got squirrels. We got rabbits. We got bobcats and fox and coyotes for the trap line. We got beaver and mink. Uh, there's a lot of outdoor activities. So my resolution is that I will promote and celebrate conservation more and more. It, but now, wait a minute. Is that could I possibly promote conservation anymore? I do media every day. So my resolution is just raise more hell. I'm going to increase my hell raising quota, which is really quite frightening when you really think about it. Well, there you have it. You're up to speed today. And if you come back next week, we'll have some more editions of the Nightly News. Have a great rest of your weekend, Ted. You too, Keith. God bless America. Cocked, locked, and ready to rock the clock around the clock. Dr. Spock, Uncle Ted reporting for duty. Never over, never out. <laughs>